We just made it to Canyonlands. We're pretty excited to be here. It's raining the, for the first time in the 30 days that we've been camping. It's turning cold again also. It's April what, 22nd and it's uh, supposed to be in the 30s tonight. So we, we dropped our camper. We're gonna go check out this visitor center and we're gonna go into Moab. We're staying at Dead Horse Point State Park. It's just outside the entrance of Canyonland. This is the visitor center for Dead Horse Point. It's quite large. Desert bighorn sheep. You gonna walk out there? I don't know. It says the door will lock behind me. I can stay in here and let you back in. No. Well, we I'll see you later. This must be chilly. It is chilly and windy. It's cow. So coming out of Dead Horse Point State Park, going to Moab, look what we have crossing the street. Look at that little baby. Look how cute they are, my goodness. <coughs> that one guy's <coughs> waiting. Look at him waiting. <coughs> Well, we've spent the better part of the day in the town of Moab. We did some laundry. We went to a grocery store. They have a really good grocery store here. It's geared towards hikers and outdoor people with snack bars and stuff like that. But it's a very extensive grocery store. And now we're going to eat at the Moab City Diner. It looks like it's a pretty popular spot. This town is very busy. Well, when you come into Moab, you can find one of these little menu guides at any of the local restaurants, and it just has the menus of all the restaurants around. Pretty cool. Very handy. But just outside Dead Horse Point State Park and Canyonlands is this old building here. We just stopped to get ice and I looked over and there it was. Looks pretty cool. Great photo opportunity. So we're in the camper right now and we have this little space heater going and we are quite comfortable, quite cozy, but outside it is spitting crushed ice. Can you see it hitting the ground? It very well could snow here. Fred says it's sleet. This is great sleeping weather. There's a beautiful sunset. About 20 minutes ago, it was sleeting, very cloudy and cold. But the sunset is poking through those dark gray clouds. So my breakfast this morning is blueberry bagels with honey. Well, it's Saturday morning. We are up and out at Dead Horse Point State Park. And we're gonna take a look at this uh, high point here in the park. And this will be the Colorado River below us. So the East Rim Trail is that way. And we are headed to the West Rim Trail and the Overlook. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my goodness, snow-capped mountains in the background. Here's the Colorado River right there. Very reminiscent of the Grand Canyon. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, this is definitely worth stopping and taking a look. So we're going up a little bit higher. It really is. 
there's the the gooseneck like we saw at gooseneck state park that's a lot prettier than the one at gooseneck okay we're gonna go hike one of these rim trails okay so these ponds down here are solar evaporation ponds for a company that mines potash i'm really surprised that they were allowed to put those there but there they are these mountains in the background are just incredible looking the tips of them are right up in the clouds it's kind of interesting this rock that we're walking on i'm not sure what kind of, it looks like almost a quartz it has little shiny specks all through it it's very pretty come on Luke, let's see What's well, that? Just a straight drop off, isn't it? Oh, no, we got it. Oh, okay, a little ledge. ledge. Then you got a straight drop off. Oh, goodness, a thousand feet. Yeah. Well, we're just walking along the rim here. All right, so we're going to work our way back to the truck. It's a beautiful view here. Definitely worth the stop. Are we going to go a different route back to the truck? Yeah, because they like to rock climb. <laughs> the dogs do like to jump up and down these rocks. Me, not so much. <laughs> Fred is finding the most challenging route back to our truck, I think. I don't even know if it's a path. But you can go just about anywhere through here. It's a very nice state park. It makes me wonder what Canyonlands is going to look like. We should head to Canyonlands tomorrow. I don't think we're going to do it today. This park on a scale of magnitude is much larger than um, Gooseneck State Park. Quite a bit nicer too. One thing that's very nice about Gooseneck State Park is that you can camp right on the rim. Whereas in this state park, they do have the, you know, the dedicated campgrounds. The mountain range that we were looking at a second ago was the LaSalle Mountains. So legend has it that at Dead Horse Point State Park, the name came about from when cowboys corralled wild mustangs on the tip of the mesa and then fenced off the neck without any branches and, br and brush. The cowboys picked the best Mustangs and left the rest of the horses trapped on the point without water, leaving them to die. And then it has the name Dead Horse Point. Very sad. It is. So there are three sections at Canyonlands. Island in the Sky, there's the Needles, and the Maze. And uh, next to Dead Horse Point State Park is Islands in the Sky. So we're going to go ahead and tour that section today. And before we came to Canyonlands, I made a list of the top seven things that I wanted to do while we were here. So we're going to see how many things on this list we can check off. Well, we just waited an hour and a half in the line to get through the Canyonland uh, checkpoint. But we are here, so we are now at Islands in the Sky Canyonlands Visitor Center. Pretty nice visitor center. Fred has been fascinated with the ravens in this park. They are flying everywhere and they're quite large. Take a look at this view. It is stunning, stunning. A 
Okay, so we're driving through the Willow Flat Campground in Islands in the Sky, and we didn't um, camp here because I think it's first come, first serve, and there's only just a few sites in here. Look at this view. Okay, someone is obviously Canadian claiming that one with their chair. That's not fair. Not fair at all. Another person with the chair. Another person over here with the chair. On the left, they're claiming it with the chair. That one has a tent in it. That one has a chair. Yeah. That one looks like it might be empty. Oh, a handicap. That one's got someone in it. That one has someone in it. On the left over here, it's got someone in it. And back over here, they've got stuff all over the picnic table. Over here, it's got an RV. One more, and they've got chairs. So everyone is claimed. That's why we did not take a chance to come here. You gotta get real lucky to get one of those. So this is the Green River Overlook. It has turned out to be a beautiful day. The wind just kicked up here for a second, but for the most part, all morning, it has been gorgeous. A little chilly, but beautiful. Nice and sunny. So look at this. This is the Green River Overlook. So I'm gonna climb up here and get this overlook. Okay, so I climbed up a few rocks. Oh boy, to get this. Look at the green over here. What a beautiful view. What a privilege it is to see this and to walk out here like this. My goodness gracious. Check this out. Okay, so we are at Upheaval Dome. There's several different overlooks, so we'll probably make it to the first overlook. Well, Upheaval Dome, it was a mile to the first overlook and they estimated an hour to do it. And we've got our dogs in the car and uh, we just don't feel like doing it. So we're not going to. So we will have to skip Upheaval Dome. And plus the parking here is pretty precarious and our truck is kind of sticking out on the road. We really didn't want to leave it for an hour. We made it to Mesa Arch and you know this is one of the iconic photo shoots of this park and let me tell you it's crowded here. It is crowded. I don't even know how you can get a decent picture with all these people standing around like this. Look at this. You've got photographers set up. I guess I just got to go get in line with some of them and hopefully people won't jump in front of you. <laughs> you know, this arch looks down into the canyon. That's what's so unusual about it, is this arch looks down where all the other arches that you're gonna see in arches looks up to the arch. So let's see what kind of picture I can get here.
Yeah, I can see why you shouldn't be climbing on the arch. Right. Well, I must admit I'm surprised. Even with the crowd, we were able to get some decent pictures without a lot of people in them. Um, everybody kind of stood aside and there was plenty of room up there. So I'm pleasantly surprised at how that turned out. So I think it's about a mile there and back to our car. We're tired. We've been doing a lot today. We've got one more day in Canyonlands before we go to Arches. So uh, we might call it a day and go back and have a very late lunch and pick this up again tomorrow. Well, we are headed out of Canyonlands, but we really enjoyed our day here. I like Canyonlands. It's beautiful. I actually liked it better than Capitol Reef and Bryce. Can't say I liked it better than Zion, but it was so far it's been second to Zion, I would say. I thought it was very pretty. You know, the, the Colorado River runs through the Canyonlands, and the river is actually what breaks it up into the three different districts. The Islands in the Sky District is the one that's closest to Moab and most popular. The Needles District is about an hour and 20 minutes away from Moab. And then you have the Maze, which is only accessible by 4x4 and they say backcountry experiences, um, you know, suggested. But the, the three districts are separated by the Colorado River. And, you know, the river views that you can get here, and then these views of the LaSalle Mountains, they're just majestic. Cows, more cows coming up. More cows. Look at those cows. Look at those cows. today I have a tuna salad sandwich with tomato and boiled egg and some Fritos. So we're going into Moab for dinner and the LaSalle Mountains have a viewpoint right here and they just look so beautiful from the road with the sun hitting them. I'm gonna take a couple of pictures here. These mountains are breathtaking. So we are going to eat at the Spoke on Center. Fred got 
got the meatloaf. Take a look at that. That looks great. And I got the lemon chicken with brown rice and vegetables. It looks really good too. Well, this is our last night here at Dead Horse Point State Park. We're staying here three nights. And it's so funny because we're out here cooking chili in our Instant Pot and we're just waiting for it. It's just simmering a little bit right now. It looks pretty good. And, uh, but we're out here cooking chili and it keeps snowing. It's, it's melting before it hits the ground, but it, it hits my jacket and it melts as soon as it hits my jacket, but still it's it's snowing. It was coming down pretty heavy a second ago, wasn't it? It's just funny. That one minute, you know, it's nothing, and then all of a sudden the snow comes. It's from Florida, we're not used to that. So our chili's almost ready. We're gonna enjoy that, and then we're gonna, we, we spent the day in Moab, we did a little shopping, we went to the laundromat, we washed all of our sleeping bags, cleaned out the inside of the camper, cleaned the dogs up. Just a, a day of housekeeping for the most part. And we were actually going to go back to Canyonlands tonight around 7 if the sun comes out because I thought there, there's one other spot there that I'd like to get a picture. I don't know if we're going to do it or not. We may. But we'll, we'll be packing up in the morning and heading to Arches. So in case I don't turn this camera back on at this campsite, thank you so much for watching and please um, subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. The, um, we're spending five days in Arches. We've got a spot inside Devil's Campground, which is in the National Park. We should have a great spot there. We've got some fun things planned in Arches. So. Thanks again for watching. Be sure you like and subscribe. Bye-bye. I got one footage for you. All right. Do you think that got a little too black? Oh, it's too black. I don't like mine all black like that. How is it? Good. Mmm. Good looking one. Huh? Good. We are leaving Dead Horse Point State Park this morning and look at our view as we pull out of the campground. Those LaSalle Mountains are just so pretty. And then one last look at the visitor center here. It gets pretty busy in there. Not too bad so far this morning. It's Monday morning. There's a great viewpoint right there. You can see a fellow taking some pictures. And you can walk a little rim trail. Get some great shots of those mountains. And the canyon below.